Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is known as America's psychologist. You've also seen him on shows like The Real Housewives of Atlanta and Love and Hip Hop and so much more. Please welcome Dr. Jeff Gardier. How are you? Yes. I'm, I'm great. I, I also have to tell you I'm the psychologist on Couples Court with the Cutlers. Oh, oh yes. Paternity Court with Lauren Lake. Yes. yes. Waiting to get on Braxton Family Values. <laughs> Waiting for oh, married to medicine. To Don't yeah. get me started, <laughs> beloved. Uh, yes. Come on. All of that. Yes. You're trying to get out of yeah. yes. Yes. Well, yes. You are definitely a, a busy man, and you've been consulting uh, producers? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Oh, yes. I'm a consulting show? producer yeah. on a uh, brand new documentary that's coming out. Tell yes. us a little yes. bit about the documentary. Well, it's called A Racing Family, and it's about this whole issue of parental alienation. Mm -hmm. What happens, the really ugly side of divorce, mm -hmm. where the children become the collateral damage mm -hmm. when we have issues with one another through the divorce mm -hmm. but the kids are the ones who truly why suffer. did you decide to be a part of that project well I've worked with so many divorcing couples mm -hmm. or divorced couples mm -hmm. and I saw what happened with the children uh, as uh, many of these divorcing uh, mm -hmm. people are you know just hating one another yes. and yeah. trying to get kids on mm -hmm. their side mm -hmm. yeah they don't realize that what they're doing is psychologically mm -hmm. they're destroying Destroying their yeah, children. Mm -hmm. well, let's take a look. It was always, you're on my side or you're dead to me. The first time my dad saw me, I was in my grandma's arms in a courtroom. It really felt like she didn't want anything to do with me. It's hard when you have to stop and think that your child wants nothing to do with you because of what they've been taught. One parent gets to be a parent, and the other gets to be, at best, a visitor, and at worst, completely erased. My goodness. Mm -hmm. So describe to people, obviously we saw that from the clip, we can kind of gather what it means, but for yes. people who need a better definition, what is parental alienation? Well, it's usually the parent who has custody of the child, uh, who continues to have issues with the partner who's no longer in the home. Mm -hmm. Really just bad-mouthing that parent so as dear. much as possible. Yes. And in some ways, it manipulates the, 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 the mind of, of the kids. And so the kids end up internalizing a lot of this, mm -hmm. uh, and they end up now feeling like they don't want to be with that parent outside yeah. of the home. They come to believe a lot of that talk that it's a bad parent. Mm -hmm. But you know, it, it, it always seems like it's the father. But what, it, what yeah. have you seen oftentimes that it's the mother that's being Yes, alienated? yes, and you'll see that in this documentary that sometimes it is the mother who's alienated because there is this whole social idea that if a mother does not have custody of the children yes, it and it's the father. Mm -hmm. Well, there must be something, something wrong really with wrong yeah. with that mother yeah. because it's about the maternal thing. But I can tell you personally, I, I have six children. I've raised all of my children. All right. wow. they, they, they grew up with me, but there's nothing wrong with the mother. Wow. It's just that mm -hmm. she honored my desire for my being a father and always wanting to be with the children. And we did not have that parental alienation. Right. But it almost happened because we'd say little things in front of the kids mm -hmm. just to try to make ourselves look better. Mm -hmm. So we have to be careful because yeah. parental alienation can happen even if you don't mean oh, for it oh, to yeah. happen. Yeah. So yeah. that's why right. we say never bad mouth the other parent in front Both of your children. child because yes. yeah. your child will come to believe it and internalize it themselves yeah. where they'll begin to feel less than. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh my goodness. But the great part about it is this, this has gained over 100,000 views yes, on, on Facebook. Yes, on Facebook, yes. And were you surprised about the reception? And, and why do you think that so many people, that, that it struck a chord yeah. mm -hmm. with so many people? Uh, I'm not surprised at all because we're talking about divorce rates mm. anywhere from 40 to 50 percent. 23 million people in America are separated from their child and part of this parental alienation. Mm -hmm. So it really did strike a chord and people said, holy smokes, that's me. Mm -hmm. I see that happening mm -hmm. in my mm -hmm. family, but I want to bring the family back together. We'll never be married yeah. again, yeah. Yeah. but certainly we want the kids to be healthy yes. and to co-parent. Yeah. My goodness. Dr. Jeff, what is the, the justice system doing for parents, both mothers and fathers, who are being erased from their children's lives? You know, not enough. Uh, I, I think with many states, all they look at is, uh, you know, getting uh, the alimony to be taken care of, but they're not looking at the psychological issues that the two mm -hmm. parents now have, uh, and therefore, that not 
only takes away mm -hmm. from the alimony the way that it should be paid, but also the psychological damage, the collateral damage to the family. New York City does have a program where they're bringing together young boys and girls who have had children, mm -hmm. who have not been married, but to not only be able to co-parent, but to respect one another mm -hmm. as mother and father or partners right. in the relationship. Right, that's good. For the health the mental health yes. of, of the children. their the children. child. Right. right, I know, I know. So what, what can people do if they're faced with this issue? They know it's happening to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What can they do? Well, try not to get into the blame game. Know that no matter how much you think the other partner has psychological issues, you chose that person yeah. Yeah. or allowed them to choose you. Yeah. So yeah, take true. responsibility for where the dysfunction is, how the divorce happened, and if you do that, you'll have more respect for one another and can co-parent. You may never be friends, but certainly if you can at least be amiable to one another, amicable to one another, yeah. mm -hmm. then that will help with the uh, uh, emotional health of the children. Because at one point, there was a little bit of love, or at least you hope yeah. there was. That's yeah. right, that's yeah. right. Yeah. And that's why it's always important in therapy where I ask them, when you were happy, when it was good, how good was it? Mm -hmm. How did you meet? And you see it brings a smile in their face. Mm -hmm. It kind of, you know, just softens it up. It a softens bit. Yeah. it up and they're able to talk to one another because they do have some of those good memories. Yes. And, it, and it shows them that they are human beings. Definitely. And we don't want anyone to divorce, but if you have to, yeah. it really should be a healthy, healthy, healthy yeah. divorce. Yeah. Yes. I remember good. when I had my first divorce. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, my children were very, very, very young, and I was trying to be very, very cautious about talking about their, That's right. their father in front of them. <laughs> but they had, to, they had to come to their own conclusions, but everyone is different in their own That's household. Right. So mm -hmm. can you talk to us about the lasting effects that parent alienation has on the children, especially long term? Mm -hmm. Sure. What we see long term is uh, a lot of children who are part of this parental alienation, they grow up and sometimes, because that has been modeled for them, they do not have healthy relationships. Mm -hmm. uh, their marriages end up breaking up, mm -hmm. they divorce, and they do some of the same things. Yes. So it's really important that we understand that this is a sin it's that a can cycle. revisit mm -hmm. yeah. if we don't take care of it and break that cycle, right, Rashawn, right. Yes. right then and there as part of the divorce. Yeah. You yeah. are fantastic, yeah. sir. Thank yeah. you so oh, much. Oh, it is a pleasure is, to be yes, with you all. Yes, always good. Thank you. Uh, to find out more information on this amazing documentary, go to erasingfamily.org. Let's give it up for Dr. Jeff Gurdier. Thank you, ladies. Thank